everybody. Welcome to another episode of Ask Garden Set. Surprise, Jazz is with I'm us. Here too. It's Daryl, Shannon, and Jazz, and we are here at an amazing garden center right outside of uh, downtown Toronto. Called? It's called, quite far outside. Downtown, it's quite anyway. far outside Toronto. Valley, Val Valley, Valley View, View Gardens. Gardens. So we decided to come together. We all have our own sort of wish list of um, new house plants that we're looking for. And there's been so much in the community of amazing photos of everyone's mm. collection. Um, so what are you looking for? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> you're that's, just shopping. My plan. That's very dangerous if you come here and you're not sure what you're looking for because you'll go home with something. So my plan, my house plants this winter have been really struggling. Mm -hmm. So I need to find something that really um, inspires me but is extremely low maintenance. Smart. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you go ahead. Uh, I am looking for some new pots because a few of my plants have grown you know, for a couple of years in the same pots, and I think it's time for an upgrade. Ooh. Upgrade, new site. Mm -hmm. I am looking for philodendron, pink princess, or pink Congo. I'm obsessed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with such a girl. I love the pink plants, but I'm also looking for um, like a silvery type of a snake for ah. upstairs in a room Ooh. that doesn't get a lot of sun. So I want something that's super easy and low maintenance. So we'll go inside and see what we get. Very cool. Uh, yeah, let's go. So these are Helleborus. These are amazing. They're like the first spring bloomer in a garden and they make incredible cut flowers. So if I ever find them at a really good price, I will use them and cut them as cut flowers and then plant the plant in my garden. Mm. And uh, this one has a ton, almost 10 usable stems, different shade, 10 usable stems. I've got um, like a pop-up event this weekend, so. I've already blown my budget, but uh, <laughs> they're pink. them <laughs> so this is a snake plant that's gonna flower yep I've actually never seen one this is what it will look like I know you have one Daryl yeah, I have you? one flowering right and uh, I'm I've been watching it through time lapse for the past two months. this is amazing I've never ever seen one flower that's pretty rare for snakes uh, yeah, they typically need quite a good uh, growing conditions in order for them to be strong enough to flower. I should probably buy that one then, right? Hey, Daryl. This is my favorite color. What are these? This is Tradescantia pallida. Uh, they're related to, um, uh, like this one here. Yeah. Tradescantia zebrina. Sabrina meaning zebra. Yeah. Strike. Wandering, wandering dude or something. Wandering dude. Well, they, originally they were called wandering Jew, but people were oh. a little bit, a little bit uh, offended by that, that. So wandering dude. But anyway, this one is related to that. Super easy to propagate. <gasps> you, you you cut it and it'll root in like three three or four days. And what kind of care am I looking at? Uh, okay. Super in easy. Order, in order for it to be this purple. Yeah. You need to have like a couple hours of sun in a huge huge window. Huge window, couple hours of sun. I but can do that. If you don't have that, then yeah. all you're gonna get is just that the color turns a bit more greenish, like kind of like this. You see? Oh yeah. It's a little bit more greenish more than more green. Than all right, so yeah. I'm gonna get myself one of these because I have a problem. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these ripple peperomias. There's so many different types. These are the ones. These are the ones that I want. Uh, but yes, look, yes. a lot of the really pink ones are gone. They've been picked over. There's this one here. Yeah, it's not very pink though. Jazz, you see one that's got a pink leaf over there? Like this one's got a smidge of a pink, but I love these when you get like a really pink, pink leaf, but 
These are all pretty dark. Why are all the leaves missing? Were they just dead looking and someone cut them off? Uh, yeah, I think that's probably the case. Hmm. Not very pink. Now I sound like a whiny girl. <laughs> so I guess you just like hope, right? To get some leaves that are pink. Is that how it works? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I mean, if you have really nice, even lighting, that's kind of a good contributing factor. Even light? Okay. Well, you tell me. This one's pretty little, but which one do you think? I think it might be better to start with the smaller one. start with one. the smaller one and see how it goes. Yeah. It's just so cool, these pink leaves. But sadly not the pinkest of pink. Okay, Shannon, so what have we got here? So, I didn't find any oxalis, which I love to propagate. I have a couple at home, but I always like to get a couple more just in case, but they're sold out, of course. I'm gonna get these Helleborus because it's actually cheaper and better to buy the plant and use, cut the flowers off and use them in floral design, and then I keep the plant and put it into my garden. So I'm gonna get two of those for floral work. I've got one philodendron pink princess, which isn't very pink, but I'm really hoping in time it will get more pink. I've got this amazing baby stromanth. Mine, um, I have a really big one, but I loved how pink this one was. I forget what this is called, Daryl. Tradescantia pallida. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him say it. Okay. But the purple one. <laughs> and then this Prince of Orange. Jazz and I have, have buddy plants. So this, I'm getting this Prince of Orange, and Jazz is getting this Prince of Orange. <laughs> Friendship plans. Friendship plans. Um, this, uh, are you done? I'm done. <laughs> well, like, I mean, I should be. I don't know how I'm gonna pay for what all about, this. What about Azizi down there? That's, That's not mine. mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, have to, I have to decide. You're um, only gonna get so one? I wanted, yeah. Oh. I'm trying to be really good. Um, I only wanted one and I wanted really low maintenance. So I have Philodendron, Prince, Prince of Orange, Orange. Nice. and Azizi. Um, so I have to decide. I think I've had many. different. I've had Zizis. I yeah. have Azizi. I think I'm going to go with this beautiful Prince of it's Orange. It's really beautiful. Hey, you know, for the Zizi, did you notice out there they had the ZZ Ricky or something? Yes. Some, they're really, really like. They have twisted leaves. Twisted sort of. leaves and they're very um, densely uh, packed together. Yes. Did I you took notice a picture, that one? Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll put it up. That's so cool because I think the next ZZ I'll get will be um, a raven. The, the dark ZZ. Oh, yes, yes. I, I almost almost that. got a watermelon. Purple Mighty is also. But there's mm. only so many plants. Like, I already have enough in my house. And this is Shannon's first time at Valley View. I won't be my last. Won't be your last. No. And I last summer came about every other weekend for a long time. So um, it's really, it smells unbelievable. It smells like Florida, like Florida in orange season. Well, we are in the, we, uh, are, we are in orange season. Citrus, yeah. we're in the citrus room, it's I think. It's unbelievable. I think actually the lime season more fragrance. And there's mm. a pomegranate growing. A pomegranate? Size pomegranate. Stop. Oh my gosh, that's a pomegranate tree. Oh, let's see. Here, can Whoa. you see it? Yes, I see. Ooh, whoops. That's unreal. I've never seen one. Oh gosh. I could just have lunch here. <laughs> Probably frowned upon. These ones here are super fancy. They have like a internal drainage oh. system and everything it's got a little water meter that you can like check the water it's really quite uh, quite advanced high tech yeah i think these are adapted from like professional interior escape sort of yes. those really big ones mm -hmm. and they just kind of made the system into a small just smart home, home version yeah so i like this so right now i have yeah. a, a big piece lily it's in a 12 inch pot yeah so 12 inch pot um but it's full now and it's time to go one bigger so I think this one here is like 14 or 16 inches hey Daryl yes what about pink pink uh not really a fan <laughs> I feel like uh with the peace lily 
I don't think it gets pink, because I know you like pink. I do. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I, I like my peace lily in either, like a neutral kind of pot. No, that makes sense. Yeah. You love the what? The size. Oh. Like short and wide. This is perfect for like herbs and flowers in the summer. Herbs and herbs. Or you could you could fill it. Yeah. And have like cut lettuce in here, <gasps> like seed stuff, because lettuce has shallow roots. Yes. So you could oh you could just put so much, and you don't see this shape and size very often. No. Love it. One of these. For the peace lily. No 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 for. Uh, I have a cutting of a philodendron red emerald mm. that I want to put into a. I mean, it's already this tall, so it's, I want it to go much higher than this. So we're all done. Jazz and I got some plants. You got a really cool watering system and yep. a new pot for your peace lily. I did, I did. This is a very successful first time for first me time. at Valley View. Oh, my Tratadarian. Tratascantia. Tratascantia. But but we found out the common name is Purple Heart. So purple it's, Heart. It's easier to remember. It sounds like Italian food, like I want pasta now. <laughs> and off we go to get lunch. Thanks for joining us. Bye. I know. Well, I have 12 of them. <laughs> That's a long story. Okay. We did it! All right.